Hello, thanks for joining me for another video beer review then. So today we've got a beer from the Gads Brewery and this is their 2023 edition of their Green Hop Ale. An English pale then, it's coming in at 4.8% ABV and as usual always brewed with East Kent Golding straight from the, from the hop farms here in East Kent <coughs> and brewed within literally the end of that day, 24 hour period, straight in. Um, undried hops straight in so uh, yeah normally picked around sort of mid-september or something like that so and then you get the green hop it used to be fortnight but this year it's the green hop month um, for most of October so it's a pretty cool so a 500 ml bottle then um, there's the crown for the Ramsgate brewery the, or Gads brewery whatever you want to call it 500 ml bottle purchased at Moonshine Billy's about a five ten minute walk just down the road so convenient supporting local brewery and the local shop so uh, a half of uh, their glass here so generate a little bit of head Let's give it a little tap because obviously I've always got clean glasses so beer in the glass <clears throat> it's kind of a strawy colour, strawy, sort of yellowish in colour, uh, slightly haze, maybe a chill haze straight out of the fridge. It's a one finger pure white head, there's a gentle carbonation as you can see running up through the beer. Looking nice, I already had this beer on cask this year, um, had about three or four pints of it, about oh, probably... A week or so after it came out, something like that. Um, but yeah, so it's my first bottle of it this year. So let's get an aroma and see what it's all about. Yeah, it's got a lovely. It's got a nice kind of warming, slightly earthy, but a light kind of hedgerow fruit, maybe a touch of citrus. got a nice warm brown bread, uh, nice warm white bread kind of thing going on with this. A little bit, um, I say it's earthy and then you've got that nice hedge hedgerow fruit I'd say. And with a little bit of citrusy lemon. A lovely aroma, um, one I always look forward to drinking every year. And uh, so, yeah, let's give it a try. So, cheers. It's just, just lovely, as as usual. Um, it does vary slightly from year to year, depending on hops, etc. Um, I heard one or two people say it was a it was a bad. Um, crop this year, I say bad, not as good as where it can be this year. I mean, it wasn't a particularly apart from June, which was very warm. Obviously, July, August were pretty um, mediocre, I suppose, and then September went ridiculously hot. Um, about the time that they were probably picking the hops, it went really dry. Um, so we had eight weeks of really kind of, it wasn't particularly cold, but it, it wasn't particularly bright either. There was a lot of cloud, um, quite a bit of rain in that period as well. So there was no kind of heat waves or anything like that. So anyway, that's what people are saying. I have no idea, but it's leaving a nice lace in there. So on the taste, yeah, a nice kind of... Um, as I say, a, a nice hedgerow fruit kind of feel to the beer. Slightly earthy, but I think that, for me, it adds to a beer like this. Um, it's got a nice kind of lemony, pithy lemon thing going on with this, which is really quite nice. It lifts it a little bit. That, that for me, together with um, Gad's yeast that they use, throughout their beers um, it, it's just um, just adds that little kind of stamp of 
uh, you know, from the brewery itself on, on beers like this. Um, loads of other breweries in Kent do this every year. They normally have a, a, a at the end of September, they, they have a, um, a food festival in Canterbury and they have a whole kind of big marquee of 30, 40 different green hot beers on, on, on um, on cask uh, behind like the bar I think it might be uh, gravity I'm not sure if it's actually car no it's not cask itself it's sort of gravity pulled beer but yeah a great place to try if you want to try as many green hot beers as you can halves of course that's a place to go to every year if not various pubs around the county anywho back to here and now This is just a general delight to try every year, and as as this year goes, or this um, edition or vintage or whatever you call it, um, yeah, just just as good as every other year. Um, I do like to drink quite a few bottles of this, um, but when you see it on cars, you've got to just. I even go as far to travel a little bit out of my way to try this one on cask. It's generally the beer I try every year. Um, you know the green hop series of beers that everyone does um, this is one I always look out for to try in every year so um, yeah that being said go out and snag yourself some bottles I think they're on their website so uh, check out the Ramsgate Brewery um, dot co dot uk um, and check on their online store there's fresh beer like this available on there so uh, go and check them out give them a bit of support if you can um, yeah, and it's just up the road from me, so yeah, my local brewery. So, thank you for watching. Let me know if I've had this one before or any other kind of green hot beers. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be in Kent, it does seem to be spreading a little bit these days, so it'd be quite interesting one year to try some other stuff just to compare. Um, but th this is um, the quintessential for me green hop ale. So. Anyway, thank you for watching. Check out the brewery, as I've said, and I'll see you in the next review. Cheers.